Hi there. As well as the Sunday talks, we want to, throughout this series, provide an extra little section, uh, as it were, added on to the talk to help those who are in groups or those who on their own want to be going a little bit deeper uh, and using the study resources that are available and this little video now to begin to explore what the particular theme on Sunday might be look like, might look like in our lives. And so on Sunday, we were thinking about loneliness and about how it's experienced that many of us have. Uh, and there's a difference between uh, uh, being actually alone and feeling lonely and how serving others begins to help with our own feelings of loneliness. And actually the reality of what Jesus has done means that we're part of a much bigger family than we ever realise and how this is good news for us in our loneliness. And I want to particularly just highlight one other passage of the Bible that, that has an amazing little snapshot and it's worth reflecting on. It's around the foot of the cross. Jesus is on a cross. And we read in John 19, uh, a be some beautiful words to, John's, uh, to Jesus' mother and to John. Let me read it. John 19, verse 26. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, a woman, here's your son. And to the disciple, here's your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. It's a beautiful example of the new family that God creates. Where Jesus's mother is now to look after her son, John. And where John is now given Jesus's mother to look after as if she were his own mother. In other words, the family that because of Jesus is this new global family we're to treat as though we were our own blood family, our own mother, our own brother, our own father, our own sister. And I guess the question worth responding, uh, pondering on for a, a bit then is what does that look like in practice? What does it look like in lockdown and beyond lockdown for us as a church and for us as individuals? So for those in our community who are single, how do we welcome them into our families to show them that they are part of our family? Or for those of us who have different personal circumstances, how do we invite them into our sphere to show that we're brothers, we're sisters, we're family? We're united by Jesus, children of God. And what does that look like in practice this week? How can I show somebody that they are my brother, that they're my sister? How can I write a note? How can I be a blessing to them? How can I encourage them in some way to show that I see them as my brother, as my sister, a fellow child of God? So as you ponder, as you think about these questions about loneliness, maybe we can begin to experience even more what it means. Because that's it.